On the mountain of the Transfiguration, Jesus appears with Moses and Elijah. Why Moses and Elijah? Moses representing always in the understanding of Israel the law and Elijah the prophets. And so the law and the prophets, all upon which the faith of Israel is based. And then Jesus himself. And so we have the law, the prophets, the Messiah. When Peter sees this, the other disciples, they assume that this is the consummation of things. The Messiah has now appeared with Moses and Elijah. In other words, the faith of Israel has become in a certain way complete. And therefore, he makes the rather odd suggestion that they build three tents, or three booths, or three tabernacles, one for Moses, one for Elijah, one for Jesus. In other words, the, on the holy mountain, the mountain of the covenant, they will institutionalize or canonize this moment, that, um, and all the world will come to them. The, the idea of the tabernacle, the booth, or the tent, is exactly that, that it is Peter's thought in that moment that the whole history of Israel has been consummated. Um, then, however, uh, he, the voice is heard, the same voice that was at Jesus' baptism, Behold my son, my beloved, on whom my favor rests, but this time something else, listen to him. And suddenly Jesus is alone, and they must go back down the mountain and begin the road to Jerusalem, which will mean the road to his passion, death, and resurrection. Now, in one sense, the covenant with Israel is complete on the holy mountain. In other words, the law, the prophets, and the Messiah, in fact, are united. What Peter sees is not entirely wrong by any means. What Peter doesn't understand is that for Peter and for all of us this side of heaven to have hope is to be on the road, to be on the way. That there is no moment, even that one, that we can stay and consecrate and institutionalize so that we can, if you wish, stay on the mountain. Had that been the consummation of Israel's history, then nothing would have changed for us. In order for us to enter into the life of God, it is necessary for Jesus to go down the mountain and, taking us with him, confront and overcome death. And this is what now he proceeds to do. And so, for us, our life, if you wish, is a pilgrimage. St. Thomas calls us wayfarers. We're on the road. And that road is going to lead uh, accompanied by our Lord so that it is safe uh, through death and into uh, the resurrected life which has been prepared for us. It is not the case that we can ever stop, consecrate a particular moment, or, if you wish, stay on the mountain. And so our Lord uh, instructs the disciples to follow him to say nothing of this until Finally, they comprehend, that is, until he is risen from the dead.